Okay then, so this is the Vetro V6. Now, yes, they've already got this out on the market, but this is the most updated version, which does support AM5 and LG1700. Okay, so let's get this open. I'd like to say a big thank you to Vetro for sending this out for a review. They uh, mentioned this about uh, a little while ago, so I've known about it for a little while. So there's the part list, of course, there's the Intel, and then there's the bracket for that. It tells you everything with included in the manual. So there we go. that's it for that. It'll tell you how to install it for LJ and AMD, so at least it gives you a simple installation guide. Now, let's get this out. This would be the included accessories. Okay, so got Vetro Thermal Paste. And then we've got the AM5 and AM4 bracket by Hue. So, comes with all of these by you. Ah, nice. Get this off. Ooh. All right, okay. All right, okay. Oh. Okay, Vetro. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. That looks that looks so nice that looks really really nice so it has got six heat pipes which are quite big and then they've got this co plate at the bottom by here which is actually nice i like that are these all connectable oh they do do connect so at least then you wouldn't have to worry about cable bundling up everywhere so that's good yeah so right let's get this installed and then we'll uh see what it sounds like and what it looks like Okay then, so this is 50% fan speed. Now we'll do 100. This is 100% fan speed. Yeah, it's uh, kind of loud. Okay, and so my basic test methods, like I always do, Cinebench R23, blend the classroom, blend the BMW, 3D Mark CPU test, and I've done two different types of testing for the V6 from Vetro. I've done it without PBO, so basically standard out of the box 5900X, and then I've done it with PBO. This is out of the box settings for the 5900X with the V6 from Vetro. So, for Cinebench R23, the idles were 29 Celsius. The Max was a 63 Celsius. Blender Classroom, the idles were 29 Celsius. The Max was a 61. Blender BMW, the idles were 29 Celsius and the Max was a 60. 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 29 Celsius with a Max of 64. Now, 5900x with pbo and xmp enabled with limits basically unlocked cinebench r23 the idols with 30 celsius with a max of 79 celsius blender classroom the idols with 30 celsius with a max of 77 blender bmw the idols with 30 celsius with a max of 77 celsius 3d mark cpu test the idols with 30 celsius with a max of 60 of 70 4 Celsius.
Right then, so you've heard how loud it is, which it is rather loud. You've also heard what the thermals were. Now, I will say this is their updated version, so it is AM5 compatible, which a lot of brands are doing a lot lately, but to be honest, it's not bad. Performance, it was good. I mean, it's a dual tower. It performed well. The only thing I'd probably say is the amount of cables you get. If you saw when I unboxed it, the amount of cables coming off the two fans. I understand that you can unplug them, but that is a lot of cables. I wish they at least daisy, change, daisy chained the RGB into one cable instead of doing it individually and stuff. I understand that the top of it, obviously lights up as you can see it does look really nice i do like the the x pattern and of course i do like the overall rgb the rgb it looks really nice does look really really nice and it's loud at full tilt it's very very loud and if you are a fan of the channel you will know that i'm not a big fan of very loud air coolers that is the same with aios I'm not a fan of very loud coolers in general. But what I will say is it performed well. It looks great. Yeah, the cables can be left to desired because I would prefer them to maybe make the cables a little bit neater, make them better so then it's easier for the consumer because even I, I mean, look at these. I mean, they're just sticking out to the top. It does look rather nasty, especially if you, if you don't do it properly or route it correctly. But because there's so much, there's only so much length on the cables, you can't really do a lot. But other than that, what I will say, the performance, great. The look is fantastic, but it's loud, very loud. And yes, Vetu sent this out for review. I've known about this for a while. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Look, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And as always, this is Richard from Welsh Tech. I hope you have a fantastic week and weekend. Good. Bye.